During the past few months, the government has clamped down on the opposition Bangladesh Nationalist Party. Several people have been shot dead by police, hundreds injured, and thousands have been arrested at rallies across the country. But it didn't stop tens of thousands of opposition supporters from gathering in Dhaka on Saturday. People don't have any security here. They don't have the right to vote, and they're scared to venture outdoors because of repression. We demand the autocratic government resign immediately. We want this government to resign and release former Prime Minister Khalid Azia. We want real democracy. On Wednesday, shortly after an interview with Al Jazeera, the party's leader, Fakhrul Islam, was arrested along with 500 supporters. Bangladesh, unfortunately, is facing one of the most severe political crises now because they are, the people of this country are being deprived of their voting rights. Democracy is totally absent now in Bangladesh. Unfortunately, the whole scenario is that just an authoritarian government is ruling this country. The UN and the US have condemned the violence and called for an investigation, while 12 advocacy groups and rights watchdogs have issued a joint statement expressing concerns about gross human rights violations. In a statement, Amnesty International has accused the government of having, quote, very little regard for human life, saying its action send a chilling message to those who dare exercise their human rights. For its part, the government accuses the opposition of trying to destabilize the country. It says protesters are gathering illegally. Under no circumstances should there be any disturbance on the roads. People don't want it, nor do want any unruly incidents by blocking roads. It has also rejected demands for an election time caretaker government. Security is heavily beefed up all across the capital city, Dhaka, the Bangladesh Nationalist Party. The main opposition party's headquarters is totally cordoned off by police. No one is allowed in the perimeter. As the economy spirals and the cost of living soars, Bangladesh now faces the additional challenge of growing calls for regime change ahead of the next general elections. Tanvi Chaudhary, Al Jazeera, Dhaka.